Hello and welcome back to another episode of Draco Green's Adventures in Eve. Obviously with me, the Green Dragon. Right, if I didn't show you this before, and I think I did, this is my character. He's a ginger badass. Well, looks like one. He's not really a badass yet, and he's not going to be for a good long while, but hopefully he'll become one one day. And uh, let us just continue with our mission. Let's get in there and see just what damage those naughty naughty peoples will be able to do to us. This might be more of a mission, judging from the description, where the enemy is streaming gradually. Okay, medical drone. I do hate these dust fields. I mean, this looks good. And all, but it can really fry my frame rate. Or maybe it's that I had Google Chrome open in background when I played on my own. Ooh, a mercenary commander. Those things actually are pretty strong. Looks like we're gonna get some real enemies. Okay. I'm just waiting until I see the whites of his eyes. That or until that bastard targets me. Okay. Doesn't look like they're targeting me, they're just gonna sit there. Hmm, more warping in. Well, that doesn't seem nice. Yep, here we go. Start blinking. We're gonna switch to close range weaponry once we get nice and close. Just fry his face off. And these are just NPCs, they're not dangerous as such. Certainly not on level 2 mission, not on a navy cruiser with a decentish tank. Not that I know what a decent tank is, but I would like to think that mine is, is not horrible for various reasons. One of the advantages of having lasers is the fact that they can switch their uh, crystals so very quickly. Launch drones, active tank on. Yep, looks like it's gonna be a real. Roll. Okay, engage. Engage at the enemy. So what do we have here? We have three of these commander guys. Ouch. Okay. We are getting hit pretty hard here, actually. Okay, fuck you too, then. We're just gonna get up in his face and kill him. Okay, ditch one of these fighters, I want to lock the third one well in advance. Okay, we're doing decent damage, decent damage. Good, good, good. Burners off after the next cycle. We want to save our power since we're running low on battery. Okay, drones on that. Actually, no, change my mind on the lead fighter there. Target the lieutenant. Are you actually managing to move away from me? Very, very slowly. Okay, we are moving. We are slowly getting worn down on the armor. We might have to warp out for a second and come back in. Okay, you. You are close enough to fire at. So we're gonna fire at you instead. Oh, the commanders are actually considered softer. At least as bounties are concerned. Okay. Let's not risk it. Let's go to the star, recover for a few seconds, and then then come back in after we have had the chance to recover a bit. Come on, warp. There we go. Okay. So yeah, this turned out to be a pretty tough mission, but that's fine. We did really rush in there very quickly and pulled a lot of aggro. They were just surrounding and pummeling us, but that's fine. That's fine. We can dock. I will not be using the station's repair shop. Because that's just sad when you have an armor repairer. Oh, hello. Luckily, this is a high-sec mission. Or high-sec place, otherwise we might be pew-pewing each other. Let's dunk them, see what they're like. No, they're just sitting here. Hmm. <laughs> Curious. I'm pretty sure my... Well, no, I can't run this forever, right. I don't have quite enough. Since I shifted out 
some of my low slot capacitor recharge boosting items for more armor resistances and stuff. Hmm. Now, if we do dock with a station, that will immediately fully repair our battery. Free recharge, right? Okay. So yeah, that happened. But, you know, the way I see it, you have to be pragmatic about this, right? You... I mean, if you can not take something, that's fine. You can always retreat and come back in. Well, most cases. Sometimes they the disrupt your warp drive and then you're screwed. Then you're mildly screwed. Yeah, that happens. Have I ever lost a ship to that? Docking permission requested. I don't think Docking I have. Not with NPCs. I've been blabbed by players, but not so much by NPCs. Okay, so that's my free battery load. Maybe this time we'll stay further away and uh, just blink away at them. Walking now obviously active. before we actually fight we do want to rebuild some more of our armor because obviously we're gonna need it. This is a pretty significant mission and yeah it's more like a ordinary level 3 mission would be it seems to me in toughness then or at least in rewards, which seem to be a pretty good indicator of how tough the ride is gonna be. Now, we are getting money for destroying the enemies because they have bounties on them. And that's a thing, too. So we are earning some money, but mostly that's enough to pay for a few bullets if you are using a ship that... You know, or if you had guns that used bullets. Which we don't on this ship. Now I do have a battle cruiser for running level 3 missions and that does use guns. But it's like a dozen systems away and I think well I want to do storyline missions for Sisters of Eve anyway, so I don't really care that much about the level mission I do. You need to do like 15 or 16 missions of the same level in order to get one storyline mission. So, you know, just continuing to run these lower level uh, security missions in a ship I like. Just, you know, sort of keep doing it in a relaxed way. You know, seems nice. And I think that's enough armor. We can warp in, switch to radio guns. Yeah, I think we'll be able to repair it most of the rest of the way before our shields fall. Especially since we're gonna warp in at a distance, I think. And if not, we'll just kill some of them. Wait, now impress me. How close are we? Okay. We have three mercenary lieutenants and two commanders. We're gonna target them. We're gonna try and take them out first. Now... Elite enemies actually tend to be harder to kill because they have greater resistance and they're just elite or dire or, you know, whatever is a more elite version of the normal enemy it tends to be a lot more annoying, shall we say. Mostly because they really do have decent resistances. I could blink at them, but I really want to finish off that mercenary lieutenant while it's still weak. We are coming into the extreme range for our guns and we're being targeted, we might as well start firing. We are within drone range. I think my drone range is 25k, definitely, maybe as much as 30. No more than 30, though. I, I'm pretty damn sure I didn't train it past that. So, let's just... Okay, we can turn this off for now. Okay, mercenary commander, yes, lock that, please. Okay, that off, switch to standard. The long range ones really don't do a lot of damage. Mostly I should be using the standard or multi frequency ones, because they're the ones that actually. You know, at this range, sure. 
Sure, we'll use the standard ones. I think they fit rather well for this engagement. They'll do. They'll do. And they have decent-ish range, these lasers. Especially when fitted with the long range stuff. Now, 26 kilometers is not that long range for cruisers and battle cruisers, but it's. It's more like a medium range thing, I would say. But, you know, it works fine. We do have some capacity and we have lost some health, so we're gonna start working on that. We kill those two mercenary commanders in. You know, like right now, and I think we'll have enough. Um, Tanking and firepower to finish the rest off. That will be enough to. That will take enough of their damage dealing capability, I think, to allow me to finish the rest safely. Okay, that's one. Unless, of course, they get reinforcements, in which case this will mildly suck. Okay, turn and head for them. Okay. Now, this is a slightly differently colored. Uh, hull of the Kaldari missile cruiser. I had one of these for a while. Eh, not sure. I mean, it was kind of cool, but eh, wasn't really that impressed. Okay. So it, there's very little radial movement. Namely, it's not really orbiting us. It's more of staying straight ahead of us. So it's actually pretty easy for the gun. Guns to hit it since we are so much on its tail. Now, these things are very much on us, which is good. We'll be able to hit them with the heavier crystals. Okay, finish the cycle, start the next one, realize that there is no need, and start blinking. Fire at will. Okay, we'll. Now, you are trying to orbit us, so we're gonna keep heading away from you to hopefully limit the radio movements and make it easier for guns to hit. Now, they are not that bad at hitting things, but they're not that great either, because they are heavy guns and, you know, they are not that good at this. We're gonna have to turn off our armor repairer because we are very low on battery after the next cycle. Because what we really want is to keep our guns going, that's the important thing. Okay, but we did kill that one. Okay, keeping it range, keeping it range, and that turns off. What we really want to make sure of is that the guns keep firing. Pretty sure we've got this unless more warp in. The capacitor is empty. No, keep firing should be able to fire... I think the rate of the capacitor recharge does slow after a while. As in you... when you get really low. The capacitor oh, come on, that is such bullshit. Okay, I'm... give you up to, say... 6-7%. Okay, you get to fill up the first line. Now start firing. There, that should be enough to keep you going. It doesn't help that the guns take the most amount of capacitor with this set of crystals. It certainly doesn't help. Now, there are two things here. There is the optimal range, which is where the enemy does the most damage. And then there's the fall-off range, when you can no longer hit things properly. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Did you really do that much damage to it, or was it already pre-damaged? Yeah, there, maybe these aren't that bad as far as elite stuff goes. Still, I mean, that's if you can hit them properly. Fast-moving targets and all that. But yeah, we're. I think we're good now. I think we've got this. So yeah, they did manage to burn through our tank, but that was closer to level what I would think of as a level 3 mission than a level 1 mission. Okay, so we're good. Unless something more warps in. Oh! Right, the mission is actually counting as finished. Go figure. Now we're gonna kill everything and then we're gonna take a quick peek at the loot. Just to be sure. We can start repairing now or on the way back. It really doesn't matter. We'll be fine. I want to at the very least take a look at the lieutenants and commanders because... They were the bigger, more 
expensive ships, the ones with the bigger bounty, and they're more likely to have something good. Um, okay, not that that is by any means a guarantee, but they might. Picking up a lot of random trash. Not really... Don't really care that much about it one way or the other, but... Yeah, acceleration control. That will make it actually... That will slightly improve our afterburners, which is good, because we do on occasion use those. Yeah, I wish I could fit some more capacitor batteries or something to increase this even further, but kind of out of slots except for the high ones and, you know, reasons. Okay, yeah, we definitely have enough battery now to start repairing that damage. Definitely. And part of the reason is why I can't fit, like, a really big battery is because I have so little power grid left, due to the simple fact that I fitted this, which is really rather bigger than you would normally put on a ship this big, because, well, it takes more than half of our power grid... Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It takes like little more than a third but still it's pretty big all the same 300,000 again peanuts you can take like 50 or 60 million out of exploration sites easy with a bit of luck now some of them are trash but you can get some pretty good stuff so you know this what we have here is I'm only checking because of curiosity, right? The loot here really isn't worth the effort. It really isn't. I'm just curious about what the game has given us. And on occasion you do find something worthwhile. Oh, that's a warp core stabilizer. Is it a good one? Apparently that's the best one. It takes the least CPU, so that's something. I mean, Warp War stabilizers on fighting, fighting ship are really, really trash. Yeah, it doesn't reduce warp scramble strength that much. It does have smaller drawbacks, and they're still pretty nasty, and it does have lower requirements, so I suppose it's better than a basic core stabilizer, but not by that much. You know, not by that much. Yeah, the shields do regenerate on their own over time, and my battle, Kaldari battle cruiser for level 3 missions actually has, has been fitted for passive shield recharge to maximize the rate of that passive regeneration doesn't need to actually activate anything in order to recover its strength, which can be convenient. But there are drawbacks in other ways to fitting it that way, through, due to the items I had to use in order to get the region up to decent amounts. So you know, as a thing, it's a thing. And just getting these metal scraps, that's just... That's just true. That's like getting a lump of coal for Christmas, really. Yeah, the looting... Eh, personally... I mean, if you are gonna run missions, fine, you might as well, but... I wouldn't necessarily... Oh! My security status has nudged a little bit upwards. Yeah, personally, I mean, if you're gonna run missions, you might as well see if you've got something good, because you might find an item that's worth like 3 or 4 million. But, if I wasn't such a curious bastard, I wouldn't bother, really. I really, really wouldn't. I just, I'm just curious about what the game is giving us, and that's it. Yeah. Log off timer. There are these things in the game, which means that if you log off during a battle, your ship stays in space. Which means that you are mildly boned. Oh, hey, our armor is repaired. We can turn our burner back on and just generally be awesome. 
So, you know, you can just escape by logging off. And this game, it really, really is dangerous and that's really, really fun. Like, for example, if someone walked in here... Hell, I've run missions in Losek in a battle cruiser, and I've had a guy warp in. Like that frog guy. That's why I had him washed, I was waiting for him to log off when that happened. You know, so that I could go back to my mission, because that bastard tried to catch me inside a mission site. And you know. Okay, acceleration control. Woo! Wonderful. More skills. Yeah, I'm really not worried about the shields because they are so weak on this ship. And it's really no point in worrying about that. I have gotten a lot of the hammerhead drones and those are the kind of thing I do use on my exploration ship. Now that one has a drone bay of... Uh, 400 cubic meters, and you can fit some real drone engine there. Very sexy. Not that I can use anything above medium drones yet anyway, but still, if I got heavy drones, that could well be useful. As is, I just fill it with drones. In case I get ambushed, I can always just keep launching more drones and keep the fight going. You know, that kind of thing. Is this boring? I don't know. I think this is relaxing, just slowly looting everything and just chilling. I really want to make this a sort of more chill, less tense of a start. I mean, we will be probably doing some exploration in low sec and null sec or wormholes in the next recording session or after the first three or four episodes. I just wanted to start off on a laid-back note, as it were. Oh hey, we're inside a cloud. Yay. See how slowly it turns? That's because that's this ship is not very agile and a fa fat tub of lard. There was another type of destroyer I could have bought which would have been faster and would have had some other advantages, but it would have... You know, that was ship meant more for kiting and shooting things at range than at getting in there. I mean, another of the... Oh okay, let me show you the bonuses for that, actually. Okay. Um, loot that, why not? Okay. Uh, ships, faction, cruisers. Open the list for me. Uh, Omen, yes. Bonus damage only 10% and optimal range and no armor bonus either, so it would have been a lot squishier. But its base speed was faster. Base speed, base speed. Where the frack is it? Why is it not scrolling? Here it is, 260 as opposed to... 215. So it would have been slightly faster. And also it would have been able to better kite at range. And does it have... Yes, it does have more drones. And it does have four gun slots. But in every other way, it's the same, except, you know, this is a slower, more in-your-face ship, and the other one is more of a stay-away and plink at range kind of a ship. Eh, which is better, that's debatable, but... I don't know, this felt like a better th one overall. I mean, the other one might have been better if I didn't intend to train the Amar Cruiser up to at least level 4 in the, you know, immediate future, but with as much bonuses as this gets to guns and armor, I felt that this just had better bonuses for how I wanted to use the ship in question, so this is what I went for. And um, I think I'm actually gonna call an episode here, and I'll see you when we're ready to start the next mission. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yes, please do make sure to leave whatever comments on this video and the future ones, what you think about the new series, and I'll see you guys next time.